when we did the show in Manchester, we had a giant map of Scotland. And, and, and to let people know the distances between places, how long it would take. On foot, it takes this many hours. By horse, it takes this many hours. And, um, and the different areas and why certain things might uh, uh, bond together because their properties are closer to each other. So uh, it became a very helpful tool in the rehearsal room for everyone to uh, make allegiance, the proper allegiances to know why certain people sided with other people, why, for example, Lennox stayed till the end with Macbeth when some left much earlier. And a lot of that has to do with location of property touching property. And uh, it was a fascinating uh, part of our experiment of making the show. So we thought we should bring that to the audience. Why not bring that to the audience? We want from the second they walk in the giant heavy doors here uh, to be on this, on this different kind of theatrical journey. Not a normal show where uh, you could be on, on Broadway and it's a typical theater setup. This is a, a castle here. You enter this castle, the armory, and you are divided into clans so that you can get a sense of the people that you are going to be seated around and who you're going to be spending the, the next couple of hours with in the armory and experiencing this play. And so the clans are to get the groups to get us seated, to enter the armory space proper, to enter our playing arena, to enter the drill hall, to enter the heath, to enter the combination of Shakespeare's pagan Scotland and New York's uh, armory and drill hall and combine those together. And this div division of the clans is the beginning of, of helping everyone go on a different kind of theatrical journey.